how's everybody doing out there? This is Pete over at DIY Auto School. And what we got today, we got a special treat. Um, I'm going to go ahead and explain the situation about this item right here. It's from a company called Vivor, V E V O R. And we're going to do the unboxing of this special item before we use it because I always like to do an unboxing of every item that I review. That's very important. Um, all you viewers out there, you want to see what's going on, you want to check it out, and you want to make sure that uh, even as we do the unboxing, that it's a worthy product. So, what this is in this box is called a surface cleaner. Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie the Body Shop Girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. Before I open the box, I want to go ahead and explain what a surface cleaner is. A surface cleaner is basically an item that you would hook up to a pressure washer. Now it could be a gas pressure washer, an electric pressure washer, but it's got to meet the specifications of the PSI that the item that you purchase, the surface washer, is equivalent to. And what this is, this is basically a floor cleaner. This cleans the floors, it'll clean your driveways, it'll clean patios, it'll clean uh, wooden decks, um, it, it basically cleans anything that your feet walk on. If you're, a, if you're a guy at home or you're a girl at home and you want to keep your driveway clean or you want to clean your deck off, I'm going to go ahead and suggest look into getting a surface cleaner for your pressure washer instead of just using the wand. I'm getting a little ahead of the game. Let's go ahead and get this box open. Let's do our unboxing. Once again, this is a product from Vivor. Um, I urge you to check their website out. And one more thing I want to stress to you, and I want to make very, very clear, these people are not paying me to do this. All right? I am not getting paid any way whatsoever to review their product. If this thing turns out to be a pile of crap, then I will tell you it's a pile of crap. If it turns out to be an awesome product, then you're going to find out right here with my friend Pete over at DIY Auto School. It's an awesome product. Let's get the box open as we're talking about it and see what we got. So when I first ordered this, I was shocked that it got here in two days. Um, that's about the fastest delivery i ever seen. It was delivered by FedEx. Um, I was expecting a week and a half to two weeks before I'd even see it. Um, their website does state fast shipping. Um, I mean, I was shocked. I got it in 40, less than 48 hours. It was at my front door once I paid for it. So as we open the box, I see that the first thing we got is the machine upside down. And we got a pressure hose. Let me get that out of there. I want to see what kind of quality we got on this. Um, this pressure hose is not just a pressure hose. This is a very high quality pressure hose. This is a uh, 4,000 PSI, 140 degree pressure hose. This is for this is what they use on industrial hydraulic fluid lines that you would see on, for instance, heavy equipment, heavy road equipment that you see when they're working on the roads. So, just by looking at this, is telling me that this is a high quality item um, so far. After I get the hose out, what I'm looking at here, I'm looking at the surface cleaner itself, and I notice right off the bat that this is made out of high quality stainless steel. Um, there's a few things when I open it I want to focus on when I show you this, and let me get that out of here. Um, the weight on this thing is, I would say, you can tell that it's heavy duty, and you can tell that it's a high quality construction made. Um, 
item. I see that the bolts and the nuts they use are aircraft style, meaning that the vibration or the continual use of the machine is not going to loosen these bolts up anyway whatsoever. This is where we are going to install our handle. And this is made out of, it looks like CNC machined aluminum. As we turn the machine over, um, I want to go ahead and focus on this and we're going to get a better look at it in a minute. Uh, it's got three jet sprayers, high pressure sprayers, and you can see that they are very high quality. They are not screwed on, they are welded on. These are welded on fittings to ensure that the machine will stay high quality. Um, I open it up and I see directions here on uh, installation instructions. Very simple, very easy, and one thing I like when I open a box is to see instructions. I want to see instructions because if I don't see instructions, that's telling me that the people that are supplying these really don't care about you as a customer. All they want is your money. So let's get this box open here, and I'm pretty sure this is going to be our trigger. We're going to see what kind of quality it is and if it's worthy to use. And this item here, wow, look at that pressure. Look at that trigger. That is, I was not expecting it to be this high quality. Uh, and I'm dead serious about this. Um, I was thinking of some chintzy little plastic made thing. This has brass fittings all the way through the casing of the handle. And even inside it, and we're going to get a better look in a minute, is solid brass. And then last but not least, what we have here is we have the dual handle. And this is a really nice option. Look what we got, people. Look what I'm doing. I'm holding that with both hands. I'm using my pressure washer. I'm using my surface cleaner, and I'm comfortable doing it. The first thing I noticed, this is high-quality stainless steel. Stainless steel is the way to go. It's uh, water resistant, rust resistant, and it will last a long, long time. As we turn the item over, we're going to take a good look. Here's our spray jets. And what gives you the 4,000 PSI um, capability is the head on the jet itself, the jet head. You can see that those are screwed in. That's telling me that if you get a clog in here, you get a little piece of trash and one of these clogs up, very simple, very easy, take the right size wrench, take this off, run some water through it, unclog it, and then put the head back on. Very simple, easy repair. When I free spin the arm, I see that it spins very, very loosely. It doesn't have any binding going on and it seems like it's a freewheeling spin and um, it looks like it's, once again, worth the money that you're paying for. While we're down here, I want to go ahead and show you this. This is another reason I bought this surface cleaner versus a couple other brands, is that they have this bristle end around it. This is a, and what that does, that keeps all that water and all that trash from blowing out from um, underneath it and to make this actually concentrate more on the surface that you're cleaning. This is a, a nice additive, in my opinion, to keep all that from shooting out and actually hitting you in the eye possibly. Once again, it's not really a heavy item. It seems like it's compatible for what you're paying for and the quality of this item is really, really worth the dollar that you're gonna spend on it. There's cheaper ones, there's more expensive ones. I almost got suckered in to buying the more expensive ones. I don't know if you can see my face. And then I finally realized I think this is going to be a better item, and I'm very glad that I bought this one. All right. Um, what do I think about the unboxing of this item? What do I think about it? I think this is an awesome item. I think that it's an industrial item. I think that it will hold up to any other uh, pressure washer out there, or should I say, I'm sorry, not pressure washer, surface cleaner. Um, it looks like it's very easy to use. You can see as I'm doing with my hands and my arms that I got very, very good, nice, easy uh, rolling and access to using it. And I'm about ready to go ahead and hook this thing up to my pressure washer and see exactly what this thing is going to do called a surface washer from Vevor. Um, I'm going to go ahead and explain again. 
they are not paying me to do this. I did not get any type of free items from them. I bought this item, and so far I will say that I got what I paid for, and it is worth every single dime. Dude, I got my pressure washer out here. It's a Simpson 4200 PSI. You can see right there, 4200, 4.0 4 gallons per minute. Now, I will say this. This is rated for 4,000 PSI. That doesn't mean you have to use it at 4,000 PSI, but that's the maximum you should be able to use it. Okay, let's go ahead and hook our wand up to our pressure washer. Now, once again, this is 4,000 PSI that we're going to be using this on. Um, we're going to go over here and go into the paint booth. So if camera girl can follow me, we'll go up here. Um, okay, let me go ahead and get the pressure washer started. We're going to start in here with our 24 inch surface cleaner from Verbor and see what happens. surface cleaner on a concrete surface outside. I think it did a great job. It took the marks off of, did you see that? The tire marks are the gone. The tire marks are gone. The pressure washer would not remove the tire marks. We tried that and it didn't work. So, so far it's working really good. It doesn't seem, and I'm not saying this in a bad way, it, it seems like it works awesome and it doesn't feel like it's going to take off on you. Do you know what I'm talking about? Right. Real easy to control. It, it's, it's very controllable. One thing I don't like is don't wear your daily shoes because they are going to get soaking wet. All right. Okay, what do I think about the Vivor 24-inch pressure washer surface cleaner? Um, once again, you don't have to have a 24-inch. All that does is cover few more inches diameter the 18 and the 20 inch do the identical exact, exact same thing if you're buying this for your home or your hobby shop I suggest to get the 18 inch or the 20 inch I think it does a beautiful job for what this thing's designed for I think that it cleans the concrete very nice um, I don't have a deck a wood deck to try it out on I don't have any other type of surfaces but I would be confident to use this on my wood deck and not worry about pulling the finish, the varnish off of it. The main thing I like about it, it is a well-built machine, it works good, and the thing that I like, it's half price from the other guys that sell these. This is 300, it's a little over $350, free shipping. 
I had this thing shipped to me in two days, and I think that this machine does the job, and I recommend that if you want a surface cleaner, this is the one to buy due to the fact that it does do a beautiful job. You saw me use it on three different things. It took the tire tracks and cleaned the concrete outside tremendously. It uh, removed all the overspray in my paint booth on the floor, and it also cleaned my shop floor awesomely. The 4,000 PSI, four gallons per minute, uh, 24 inch, this is the 24 inch. If, you got, if you're just gonna use one at home in your driveway, out on your patio, uh, this, that, or the other, get the 18 inch, it's even cheaper, and it's gonna save you a lot of money. This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete. Glad that I bought this thing right here called the Bevor Surface Cleaner. Take it easy, we'll see you later, and hopefully you one more thing I want to mention, there's a lot of guys out there that are trying to get into how can I make money. A lot of people want their driveways clean, they want their patios clean, they want their decks cleaned. This is a good way to get into that. If you can afford getting a pressure washer and a surface cleaner, go ahead and get it. I'm telling you now, you can make some good money with this. Um, I've seen guys charge anywhere from 180 bucks to 275 dollars to do a, a, a driveway in the front of a house so that's another good thing about this uh, it could possibly be a money maker for you if you want it to be I think I covered everything and I think that the situation says this is a, a good item um, and it's a worthy item it's an item that says it's worth the money and the reason I'm going to give it a five star rating is because of the price only and it's exactly the same as the other guy or actually built better stainless steel aluminum blocking uh, uh, what do we call it greaseless bearings it's got three heads on it instead of two I think the other ones only have two it's got wheels it's got handles it's got triggers it's a situation that says I'm happy and I'll be using this a lot